So as days progress, it appears that the Taliban is taking territory at a lightning speed. They're offering protection to Chinese assets in Afghanistan. But the question, of course, is what about India and Indian assets and interests? India's External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar has been crisscrossing West Asia. Last month, he visited Doha twice. And this week, he made a sudden stopover in Iran. Minister Jayashankar was in Russia as well. And do you know what's common about all of these trips? Members of the Taliban just happened to be in the same city when India's Foreign Minister S. Jayashankar was also in town. The calendars have been overlapping way too much. The question, of course, is, is this a coincidence or is this by design? Our next report gets you all the details. A week ago, a tweet from a journalist in Afghanistan created ripples in New Delhi. He said that the Taliban met with India's External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar. A claim that was labelled as completely false, baseless and mischievous by sources in India's Foreign Ministry. But it hasn't escaped the world's attention that Minister Jay Shankar has been travelling to cities that are frequented by the Taliban. Last month, he visited Doha not once, but twice within a space of seven days. Doha is the city that hosts the political office of the Taliban. This week, Minister Jay Shankar was in Iran, where representatives from the Taliban were meeting officials from the Afghan government. Then in Russia, just before Minister Jayashankar arrived in Moscow, Taliban's representatives just happened to be there. They were meeting Russia's special envoy to Afghanistan. Is this too much coincidence? Or is this by design? If the Indian minister is going to cities where Taliban negotiators also happen to be present at the same time, the obvious question is, did their paths cross? New Delhi won't confirm it is back-channeling with the Taliban. But there are now too many telltale signs of engagement. The first signal of interest from India's external affairs minister came last year. Any peace process must be Afghan-led. In September 2020, India decided to participate in the intra-Afghan peace talks in Doha. A senior diplomat was sent to attend the meeting in person, while Minister Jay Shankar joined via video link. Representatives from the Taliban were also present. For the first time, high-ranking Indian officials were sharing the stage with the Taliban in their official capacity. And now Minister Jay Shankar is personally leading India's diplomatic response to the situation in Afghanistan. In Iran, he met with the foreign minister, Javad Zarif, the man who was chairing the mediation talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban. Jay Shankar is said to have thanked Iran for bringing the two sides closer. The Taliban has reciprocated the subtle overtures from India. Recently, the group issued a statement. A strong rejection of reports that claimed the Taliban would support terrorist activities of Pakistani groups in Kashmir. The Taliban said Kashmir is India's internal matter. Thank you. Uh, India's engagement with the Taliban may be a necessity, but can New Delhi trust the Taliban? The group recently attacked the Salma Dam in Herat province, a dam that was built and donated by India to Afghanistan. It is in India's interest to protect its investments in Afghanistan. There's little to suggest that the Taliban appreciates or shares this concern. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.